All right, a request has been made how to install this um, high resolution mod for Petition 3. The widescreen one, yes, how to get a widescreen. How you, how do you do it in 2023 20, is a mystery. How do you do it? Anyways, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put the name up here somewhere in the um, on, on screen somewhere. Yes. I'm not gonna pronounce his name because uh, I'm afraid I'll butcher it. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna put him um, somewhere on screen right now. And uh, yep, he's uh, requested a tutorial. Yes, and uh, it just so happens I'm using the same resolution that he's requesting me to show how to go about to install this widescreen thing. So uh, in the past, I've just directed people that, that has asked me to like show me or explain how to do it. Like, oh, I'm, I don't understand. <laughs> for, for the most part, people have gotten this and just followed the step-by-step um, -step guide on the Steam community. And um, it's, they've figured it out. Yeah, no problem. But the problems will occur if you're using a physical copy of this game and it's not a Steam version. I've done it on the physical copy. I know it's, I know it works. It, it's just, I don't know if there's any difference in this guide. Do you need to do anything different? In a different way to get this to work if you're using a non-steam version of the game i don't know this is this guide or tutorial will be solely for those who are using uh, to run this game through steam yes so here we go um by request i'm gonna show you step by step how to go about doing this so you need to re you need to download it. Currently, we've um, I don't know if you just saw that saw there in the corner uh, that the game has been installed. If we were to like uh, mm, that's fine. If we were to launch the game, it will not be widescreen, and uh, this uh, this menu will always be like this so if you freak out after you've downloaded the uh, package uh, you followed the guide and it still shows up like this don't worry about it don't worry about it because when you let's see this campaign start when you start the game once you've installed the mod package it will be in widescreen Currently, you can see this is not widescreen and it's weird. It's like, mm, nah, I don't want to play it like this. So, we're gonna exit. Here we are. <clears throat> so, how do you go about getting this to widescreen? So, very simple, very simple actually. You just click on here. So, you see this? I guess a little bit highlighted. Once you hover over it, you click on it. It's like, oh my god, you're leaving Steam. We're not responsible. Viruses, ignore it. We're gonna go there. Balls of steel. Here we are. So if you manage to get to this point and you're just confused, you look at, you're looking at it. You you have this resolution, but oh, oh, I can't I can't download it. I don't. Uh, I don't understand. It's just text. Ignore all all of this. This is that's, this is not where what we're clicking on. This is what we want. That one. 1920, 1080. Like if you're clicking on it, oh, I'm so confused. How do I download it? It's right there. Arr, it doesn't work. No. Ignore it. Ignore all of that. What we want is. See that download icon up there on the right upper corner? 
we're going to click on that and that's what we're going to go and click on right there and it will oh, mm, oh, we can't scan this could be viruses trust it i've done it before many times i'm still here nothing happened it's safe don't do this do other things be safe don't download random stuff but this is pretty this is pretty safe anyways show all yes this is the resolution pack i've done it you know in the past several times already to see how um, if it works if it still works in uh, 2023 and it works i've done it so i'm just mm -mm, doing this again for the purpose of this video we're gonna click on it and you need a um, software that can uh, open up these zip files or however you pronounce that in english anyways i'm using the seven slash zip file manager and it's it's pretty good no complaints i like it get the same one if you don't have any um software on your computer right now that can open up these files the uh, seven that one i'm not gonna pronounce it again i feel weird i feel like i'm butchering the name anyways get that or a similar one that can open these types of files we're opening it and at this point oh well oh yes well that's that's exactly what we want uh, but we don't need all of it right so what you do is you drag it to your desktop right right like so very easy you could also you could also copy it to like this you choose where to put it anywhere you could just type in like a custom thing right there where you want to install this but i've uh, already done this I, di I did the easy way i just drag it out dragged it out right there to the desktop and uh, if we take a little look see here i've already opened it it's right there desktop open it this is the what this is what we want so uh, if you're still like confused like mm, where do i put this well let's go back to the guide shall we what do they say how do we install this so they say to back up these these same files within the game where, where it's like installed i'm not gonna do that but you should do the backup back up thing because uh, just in case something goes wrong this is all this is like common knowledge at this point you've been what you've been living under a rock or something you always do a backup if you're doing mods or putting something that's not included officially by the game developers anyways let's see let's see mm, what else what else what else? Yeah, yes. The easiest way, if you're like very confused, where do I find where this game is installed? I'm gonna show you guys a very easy and fast way to find the game files of any game that you've installed on Steam. You go to manage, browse local files right there and uh, it will open up where you've installed the game there it is so what you want to do once you have it you take these and you just drag them here all right maybe maybe we don't need the install one but in this case in this this um part if you've um, managed to get this farm they do recommend you to take the images scripts and this one and uh, make a 
copy and put them somewhere else or um, create a folder put them there you could even um, just coldly cut them out it's up to you I'm not gonna do it we're just gonna coldly drag them over here boop, and replace them All right so what's happened now that we've done that is we've replaced this resolution in the game if we open up the game and choose this resolution the 10 24 7 6 8 resolution that's actually not that anymore we've replaced it with the 1920 then 81 that we want it want it to be yes so if we were to now launch the game again as i said don't freak out it's like oh it didn't, it didn't, it didn't work no, no 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 you have it's only in the game within the game yes and also make sure it is selected the 10 24 7 6 8 resolution in the game because that's actually not that anymore it's the 10 uh, 1920 1081 that you've installed during this video choose it single player um, campaign start and once in the game oh oh hello it's in HD and widescreen and it's all nice how about that how about that so there you are there you go easy easy PC lemon squeezy it's that's how it's done and um, this will be in the the steam community guide it will be in the description and um, this is um, how you go about installing it. Just follow my my lead <laughs> as I um, went about rambling and show you, showing you guys how to, you know, install this package. I mean, it's very easy. If you have a different resolution, it's the same thing. Same thing. Just pick the resolution you're using.